What's going on, everybody? I'm Berto Hernandez, American Profit Consulting. Uh, wanted to once again uh, get on here for the third day in a row and update you guys with information and, and uh, valuable information, resources that I've I've been kind of uh, uncovering throughout the day. Uh, another day where I wanted to get out the house pretty quickly, and so I just threw on a hat. So please excuse me. I'm not dressed up. I usually will wear a suit to the office, but uh, these last couple of days, you know, I've, I've been uh, dressed down just a little bit. In any case, I wanted to share with you guys that in the wake of all this, I have seen, you know, so much negative information. And yes, it's necessary. The news is reporting what needs to be reported. But even on social media, you know, there's just a lot of, you know, pictures of empty aisles and, uh, you know, negative um, information, you know, negative posts about what's going on. And of course, you know, it can be scary. Of course, we've, we, we've never seen anything like this before. But I wanted to say that after what I've learned today, uh, there's also a lot of really, really good things that are happening. Um, I'm looking this way because I'm looking at my computer screen. I wanted to make sure that I get all these notes, uh, all these points across. Uh, I've just been on the phone all day long with different industry professionals, uh, you know, different, more bankers, uh, you know, people that have been in the business for a long time who, who perhaps have, uh, you know, have gone through, you know, the 2008 situation. And, and I'm learning that, you know, in the wake of all this, the human spirit is beautiful. You know, we're all, I, I feel like, you know, everybody's just coming together and they're, we're trying to help one another get through all of this financially, emotionally, physically, all the above. Uh, but there's so many great things that are going on. Uh, I talked about yesterday about, you know, reaching out to individuals and or institutions where you have monthly payments and asking for uh, referral, uh, uh, payment deferral programs and in situations like that. And all day today, I've gotten phone calls of people saying, thank you for posting that, you know, city, is deferring my payment by 60 to 90 days. Uh, utility companies are doing the same thing. Uh, it's just a lot of really, you know, fair business, you know, people to people uh, uh, um, um, behavior. So super excited about that. At the same time, the government and a lot of different uh, loan programs are doing everything that they can to, you know, put together uh, programs that are gonna help people come out of this stronger. And I'm super excited to announce three things that I learned today. So number one, I got an email from the SBA and uh, I'll just kind of read this real quick, but it says here, uh, SBA updates criteria on state for requesting disaster assistance loans for small businesses impacted by the coronavirus. It says faster, easier qualification processes for states seeking SBA disaster assistance. Uh, it says the SBA has required Historically, the SBA has required that any state or territory impacted by disaster provide documentation certifying that at least five small businesses have suffered substantial economic injury as a result of the disaster. It says, with at least one business located in each declared county or parish. Under the just released revised criteria, states or territories are only required to certify that at least five small businesses within the state territory have suffered substantial economic injury, regardless of where those businesses are located. So you no longer do you have to be in the county, within the county lines of the, the county that has been declared a disaster. Now it's statewide. It says expanded statewide access to SBA disaster assistance loans for small businesses. SBA disaster assistance loans are typically only available to small businesses within counties identified as disaster areas by a governor. Under the revised criteria issued today, disaster assistance loans will be available statewide following an economic injury declaration. This will apply to current and future disaster assistance declarations related to coronavirus. So that's super exciting for me because, you know, your heart goes out and you feel bad for, you know, the business owner who just might be just outside of the county lines. And uh, because they're not within the county lines, you know, they weren't able to uh, be part of this program or participate in the program for the disaster relief uh, because their county perhaps wasn't, you know, quote unquote eligible. So that's exciting. Uh, great news. I'm super excited to, you know, learn more about that when that comes out. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about is I got on the phone earlier today with a very good friend of mine who is a, who is the president of a program, a nonprofit group called Cal Southern. And Cal Southern is a nonprofit group that guarantees portion of commercial loans, very similar to the way the SBA does. And um, 
And a lot of times they're easier to work with, to be honest with you. Uh, they're more local. Uh, decision making here is local in Southern California. Uh, the president of you know the, the San Diego region is a friend of mine. I've played golf with him, great guy. Uh, and I spoke to him and he said that they are in the process of trying to get approved a loan program where they guarantee a very large portion of the loan, uh, historically high portion of the loan, which is incredible news for small business owners because if they are seeking assistance from a bank, you take into consideration that banks now, I mentioned this on Monday's video, two videos ago, that uh, banks are now borrowing money from the Fed at 0% interest. So the Fed rate, if you've seen on the news, dropped to zero, which doesn't mean that you get a 0% loan. What it does mean is that banks are now borrowing from the Federal Reserve at 0% interest. And if they're borrowing from the Federal Reserve at 0% interest and a program like Cal Southern is guaranteeing a large portion of that loan, then essentially it's almost like a non-risk loan for these banks. So that's great, you know, I, that's music to, to my ears and it's, a, it's just an, another example of, you know, the community and uh, uh, coming together, trying to help and assist small business owners get through this and be stronger on the way out. Got another thing, third, that I wanted to talk about. I got an email from a very good friend of mine, banker, text message actually, and he said, just heard, that South County EDC is making $5,000 loans to restaurants in the South Bay of San Diego that were affected by the impact of the coronavirus, FYI. That's huge because nobody has been impacted more, well, perhaps, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be empathetic here, but more than restaurant owners. You know, they, they're, they're ordered to shut down. They had to, you know, lay off their employees. Uh, just really, really sad. Uh, situation for, for restaurant owners. So that's a huge win. Even $5,000 will help hopefully get through these next couple of weeks uh, as we as a community, as a country, uh, move on and go back to our daily lives as, as we knew it before this whole thing happened. Uh, so that's uh, incredible. I'm super excited about that. The other thing I was going to talk about is yesterday I, I talked about how now would be a good time to deep dive into your finances and see what expenses can be cut uh, so that when your when when your business opens back up or you go back to work, that you know you're leaner and meaner, your cash flow is is at an all time high because you've done your due diligence. And again, that's something that I'd be happy to help with. Jennifer, my sister, and I were helping with uh, what we call financial tune ups, and so we're basically going through your P and L, looking at you know what we can do to help you reduce costs around insurance, credit card processing, um, uh, payroll. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These are things that most people don't even think about because you know, when they're out making a bunch of business, a bit, making a bunch of money and the economy is, is, is somewhat normal, you know, saving $200 a month on your payroll doesn't sound as appealing as it does now, right? Because of what's going on and the turmoil and all this. And so, you know, maybe the silver lining is that we take into consideration that all savings are important, right? I have a very good friend of mine, a client of mine, who we've helped him save over $14,000 a year through his credit card processing. Uh, we're helping him do the same thing around other areas in his business. You know, we're helping him cut costs because to be honest, and this is just the truth, businesses that are around for 10, 20, 30, 40 years are businesses who are consistently looking for ways to lower their overhead and increase their cash flow. And there's just no way around that. So something that I would highly advise you to do is again, either reach out to us and we'll do this for you or go through your finances and see what it is that you can cut out. On the other side, today, uh, I had a client call me and he said, hey, he goes, uh, so you mean to tell me that with all this that's going on and with my bad credit profile, I'll be able to qualify for some of these loans? And I said, no, that's not what I mean. You have to remember that these loans and these lenders and these programs, they're not charity right? They, they don't write 0% loans to people. Uh, they don't, you know, they're for profit, right? I mean, they could be a nonprofit program, but they still charge loan fees and they charge interest, obviously, because they have to pay the employees who are, you know, working within that program for that program. So my point is, is that if they have a limited supply of money, of course, they're still gonna do their due diligence to look through your financials and to review your credit report and to make sure that you're a worthy borrower. They're not just gonna blindly write a check because you're in line. 
And so the what my advice to him was, hey man, during this time when your business is shut down and you're at home watching Netflix or you're you know playing computer games, why don't you d deep dive, and I mean this with all respect, I'm not making fun of him, why don't you deep do a deep dive, not just in your finances and your expenses, but go and check out what your credit score looks like. Why it is what it is. If your credit score starts with a three, four, five, or six, please call us. We'll help you get your score up to a 700 plus so that when all these programs roll out, that when you're standing in line for these loans, that you look like a great candidate for these loans, right? SBA uh, uh, disaster relief money is 3.25%. It doesn't get it doesn't get much better than that. So, but you're not, I just don't want people to feel like they're entitled to that money because their business suffered. You still have to take care of yourself and your finances and your credit and your financials of your business so that when that stuff rolls out, that you look like a worthy candidate for that money. And so I hope that doesn't come off condescending or rude in any way. Uh, I know that, you know, for example, it's happened to close friends of mine, people that I know that are, you know, who have perhaps a bad credit score because of a life event that was out of their uh, control. I understand that stuff happens, but those three numbers from Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion literally run your life in a lot of ways that most people don't realize. They control almost every aspect of your life from applying for a, an apartment to rent all the way down to your insurance premiums. And most people don't even know that. So something to really take into consideration, especially while we're home is why not do a deep dive into your credit report, see what it is that's affecting your score and you know, put a plan of action in place to fix that score, to raise the, the score to a 650 or a 700 so that you're qualifying for the best money that's out there when all this kind of blows over. So uh, I hope that helps. Um, again, you know, we're here to help. Uh, we, we're here early in the morning up until, you know, six o'clock. I don't even think I've eaten lunch today because I've been on the phone with everybody and everybody that I feel like would add value to uh, our current client base as far and as well as other business owners who, you know, we're not currently doing business with, uh, but we'd love to help. Uh, it's something that we're passionate about, of course. So uh, please feel free to call anytime. 619-200-0351 is my personal cell phone number. You can call or text, or you can even email me at hhj at americanprofitconsulting.com or at info at americanprofitconsulting.com. Uh, the office line here is 619-836-0267. It's kind of a new line, so I, I have trouble remembering it sometimes, but we're here to help. And uh, we hope that this content that we're putting out uh, is of value to you. Uh, please let us know. Thank you. <laughs>